Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Dazed. And today I'm gonna give you another update video about our team and what we kind of decided to do. So as you know from previous videos, we had options to take over pro league spots uh, from, organi from organizations and kind of keep whatever players we wanted. Kind of didn't act on it and turned it down essentially because we didn't really want to, you know, take those people's positions. We didn't, I didn't feel like I earned that at all or had the right to do that. I think that's pretty messed up. So we decided to, you know, go our own route and figure out what happens. But another big issue is that like, I haven't, you know, if you've been watching my stream, I haven't had like that much motivation to put a bunch of time in. I've been streaming more often now every other day, but I've still only been playing like maybe an average of like, you know, three hours every two days of CS or four hours every two days of CS. So not that much, right? I mean, I used to play 30 to 40 hours a week minimum, okay? So the motivation just hasn't really been there right now, and I really need to get that back. And I think like committing to an organization and a, taking over a pro league spot isn't right for me right now, and I think it's kind of messed up if I did that. So we kind of went our own route, and we've, we've talked to investors and things like that, and there's a lot of interest in investors. But I don't know if I want to go that route, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to try to be completely honest with you guys about everything because I think that's just a really good way to do it. And I'm done, you know, ever doing anything not honest. So anyways, um, the reason I don't think I want to do that is not commit to it yet, but commit to it either in the middle of the premier season in Mountain Dew League or at the end of it. And here's why. When we started this, we were banned from every event besides ESL. Now DreamHack unbanned us, which is many, many events a year, okay? Now all of a sudden we're probably banned from, unbanned from, I would say like 70 plus percent of events. But before it was about maybe 40%, right? Because ESL probably conducts like four tenths, DreamHack probably does like three tenths, and then you have like all the other tournaments probably cover like the other 30% or so, right? Including majors. It's only like two majors a year. And then there's E-League. That's really what we're missing out on right now, and also ECS. Good chance ECS unbans us. I mean, I don't have any contact with them, but you'd think with the public support, you know, that we have, I, I think they probably would, right? So now if we basically get unbanned from everything but Valve Majors and maybe E-League, that's all of a sudden like 90% of things, right? Or like maybe 80% or so. That's enough for somebody to want to offer a contract to Brax arguably the best player in North America. And if we did something with investors and we took, you know, we raised a lot of money from investors and we committed to that, that can't be a thing that happens, right? So I think it's a lot better if we just keep our options open for a few months and then figure it out from there. Not only because I think Brax is, Brax is already ready, okay? Brax has been playing this whole time. He's been playing at a first pick level in rank s the whole time his game really easily translates to joining any team because let's be real he just baits everyone you can ask him yourself he's gonna tell you the truth um and then he just like has insane skill and and he just sees the game so well right like he's already ready to play at a tier one caliber he's already ready to become the best player in na again along with stewie okay and if cloud nine and liquid and their current rosters don't do well why wouldn't they just pick up brax why wouldn't they offer him a contract and offer him a deal? And even though Brax wants to play with me in AZK, honestly, I would make him do it. I'd be like, no, bro, like you're going to join them. What do you mean? Like you need to be on like a tier one world stage, you know, playing with the best teammates possible. Although I think me and AZK will probably be absolute like top 10 NA players without a doubt. I would be like, yeah, like you, you have to do this, you know? You have to do this. Uh, you're going to have a full roster. You're going to have everything set for you to succeed and for you to push these teams to the next level. Like, I would absolutely be like, Brax, you have to do this. Um, and I think that's a really strong possibility of happening because the odds of Cloud9 and Liquid both, like, just performing really, really well, especially Liquid. Um, I think Cloud9, you know, I predicted they do really well. They obviously haven't looked great lately, but I think um, they'll get it together over time because there's just too much freaking talent on that team to not succeed regardless of not having like the greatest leadership um i think they just they like it's 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 inevitable that they succeed because of how much talent they have so 
so yeah, like I predict that will probably be an option that will probably happen in a couple months, a few months, like if, if Liquid isn't doing well, especially because, you know, Liquid sounded like they wanted to make changes, right? Just just a couple weeks ago. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I want that option to be open for them. I think if we commit to investors, we really have to have our minds in the games, our heads in the games, and make sure we commit to that long term, which I don't know is a possibility right now. So I want to give it a couple months before we, you know, go back towards that avenue and check it out because i do not want to be somebody that raises a bunch of money from investors right they're relying on us to be you know our ma to maximize our potential of what we can be and then not follow through with that because maybe like my talent isn't there or maybe because our um motivation isn't there you know either one right so now let's go back to what we are going to do so we're going to play the premier season in mountain dew league and we're going to play with two guys you've probably seen in rank s a lot dapper and poyo we're going to play with them and try to just you know get our game back meet azk and swag learn a lot you know get used to the meta and stuff like that and hopefully dapper and poyo work out well with us and they prove that they could be like these great players um but you know like a lot of this season is just going to be a learning experience and trying to get back up to speed with myself, Brax, and AZK. That's what I want to treat this as. I don't want to treat this as anything where I'm saying, hey, for the next three years, me, Brax, and AZK are going to play together with Dapper and Poyo, and that's going to happen, right? This is just like, let's see what happens this season. Let's play. Let's see where we end up at. Let's see how fast we progress. Let's see you know, if we even want to have the motivation to keep playing and grind and grind and grind like we used to when I was, you know, 23, 24 years old, almost 28 now, man. Um, and we have to see all that, right? And we just have to see what happens. Now, the good news is, is that because we're going to play Premier, we could stream matches. We could, hell, we could even stream practice if we want. Like, I could give mad updates about the team on my YouTube. We could... You know, I could tell you guys what's going on. I could fucking, I don't know. I could just be really open with you guys and really share about our growth and what's going on with the team and provide like good content for our fans and stuff like that, which is a really good thing. Cause I think every opportunity we have, we'll probably stream like the matches and stuff like that, which is gonna be really cool. And I'm really excited about it. Um, the next thing is that I am actually gonna be offering. Okay, you guys see me off in rank S. Some of you are impressed. Some of you, not so much, but I will say, um, I used to stop in source and I was a beast. All right. There's a lot of glimpses of me being a beast at opping in CSGO. And so this is going to be a new role for me. Um, and we'll see if this is something I could do full time. I don't think there's any good, any offers besides Skadoodle and even Skadoodle has his faults, man. I think JDM is a pretty good offer, but he's super like inconsistent to be honest. Um, you know, you could ask him, you're going to ask him yourself and he'll probably tell you the same thing. He's pretty inconsistent. Um, he has flashes of that tier one brilliance. And then Scott, in my opinion, is a tier one opera. But at the same time, you know, he does have his faults as well, right? With like the lack of communication, the lack of like saying what he wants to do and when he wants to do it, which obviously like I wouldn't, I don't have any trouble with that because I'm very assertive with just telling people what the fuck to do, right? I'm just a bossy bitch out here when I play Counter-Strike. <laughs> so anyways, that's kind of like the, the team update. Uh, I know, man. We went from like possibly going to a pro league and taking people's spots to starting up with investors and stuff like that to now let's just let's just see how it goes. Let's let's see how it goes, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys and I'm gonna talk to you guys through it. And yeah, let's just see what happens, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys appreciate or hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh yeah, peace out.